Hi, Vince Campy here. Today we're going to composite an animal skin texture onto a human. It's good to start with two high resolution images. And you're going to stack them together in Photoshop, the animal texture on top. And you're going to skew it around a little bit. You're going to stretch it, lower the opacity a little so you can kind of see the face underneath or the person and um, then you want it to fit over the skin area primarily so what I'm doing is just adjusting the uh, opacity of that layer a little bit moving it around getting so it fits over the skin I put a mask on that what we're going to do we're gonna paint with a soft edge brush in a second but first we're gonna fill that mask with black so it disappears and then we're just gonna paint in with a real soft edge brush right over the person's face there Okay, and then we're going to go little by little back and forth, switching the painting color between black and white. Black hides what's on that layer, and white reveals what's on the layer. So right now I'm painting around the edge with black. I'm going to harden up the edge of that brush a little bit, because you don't want it to be too soft, because then it just it has a weird fade to it around the hairline, and you want that to be a little sharper because a person's hair uh, doesn't fade into their face. It's a sharp edge. So little by little, we kind of go over that and we're gonna use a super soft brush around the neck so it blends into the skin down there nicely. I keep playing with the opacity a little bit, going back and forth. I don't want the edges to fade, I want them to end in the hair, so um, just kind of carefully going around the edge. That's giving me a little bit of a problem up there, but we're going to fix that in a little bit. If you accidentally paint with white on the black or black on the white, no big, you just hit Command Z um, in order to uh, undo, and or just paint over it with the opposite color. So you're only painting ever with black or white on this particular mask in this particular project. There we go, just keep refining around the edge and painting it on there. I'm gonna put a hard light um, blend mode on it to help it morph. I checked a few of them and the hard light seems like it's gonna work the best. I lower the opacity. So I'm going back into, going back to normal and I'm opening it in liquify so filter liquify and I can't really see the face underneath there so I'm using the forward warp tool the little finger up in the top left corner and just pushing it around where it seems like things are you can okay lowering the opacity okay so I got the nose in place and and drum roll please blah, 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 blah. Running. Okay, don't pay attention to the levels adjustment over there. We're not going to use that. I was experimenting. Now, I'm moving the uh, face up a little bit. If you you can adjust down the bottom corner, make sure you have the view backdrop on there. And then you can adjust the opacity on the bottom of the liquify tool and you'll be able to see through it a little bit more. So now I'm just tweaking the edge a little bit more, going in there. See, I do that once in a while. <laughs> Whoops. Um, so I'm painting with the, I'm trying it on the ear, you know, to see what, do I want the fur on the ear or not? And so then just gradually going around the edge, adjusting the hardness of the brush, lower the opacity a little bit. So you just, part of it is feel. Okay, now I'm gonna um, add a dodge and burn. What I did is uh, added a blank layer, filled it with 50% gray from Edit, Fill, and Color Use Gray, 50% gray. And now I'm using the dodge and burn tool. Right here I'm burning a little bit, darkening in where the shadows are. This is instead of a displacement map. You can do a little dodging and burning so it takes on the contour of the face a little bit more. Grabs the shadowing, otherwise it looks way too flat. So on that gray layer, I put that layer in, a, um, in an overlay 
uh, adjustment mode. And now see I'm, I'm burning and I'm burning with the mid, uh, the mid tones up in the options bar, mid tones and the opacity of that mask is only about 17%. So it's very slight and you paint it in little by little. Now um, I'm just painting with white, or excuse me, with black on the mask so I can see the model's eyes. Because we're going to want that black line around the edge of the eyes. And now we move the, the tiger's or lioness's mouth up to where her mouth is. And now I'm using a real soft edge brush and painting with black on the mask. Make sure you click on the mask when you're painting on it and just going over the teeth there. We're gonna go back into liquify in just a minute. I selected it so it would only adjust that one section. And now I'm in liquify. And see down at the bottom, you see where it says view backdrop? The opacity down at the bottom there. If you adjust that, you'll be able to see, um, see through the texture a little bit. Okay, so the mouth is looking pretty good. Nose is still, it's a little weird, but we're gonna adjust that. See, I'm going back and forth and feeling it out. I decided that um, no hair on the ear, no uh, lioness texture on the ear would look better. So now back into liquify. I'm making the brush nice and big, it's 500 something. And now I'm changing the shape of the eyes. This is gonna help me to get the natural black line that the lioness has around her eyes. So then um, it'll match up with the model's eyes. And this is where it starts really uh, getting a little scary looking, if you will, but it starts looking pretty good because the eyes match up exactly and you do have the natural coloring of the, of the um, animal texture. We zoom in here. Now we're going to adjust again, adjusting the hard edge of the brush. Painting, oops, I was painting on the texture. So now I'm painting on the mask and uh, getting that black that's naturally around the, yeah, there just bumped up the opacity of that layer. And see, so painting in that black that the lion has. And now painting it back out a little bit. That's a semi hard edge brush. Okay, actually not. It's a pretty on the uh, low percentage of hardness, that brush. So around the edge there. Okay, that's starting to look good. So you're painting back in the natural coloring of the tiger's um, skin, fur, excuse me. Okay, so see now it's starting to take on the shape of the eyes and starting to have a nice look. I selected it, now when I go into liquify it's only going to let me change that. So now I'm just dialing it in a little closer, the eyes, so they match the shape of her eyes a little bit more. Pretty much guesstimating because I can't really see her stuff through there, then command D to deselect that. And now I'm going back, painting on the mask, painting back in some of the black in there. Okay. okay. Sampling that color down there. Uh, so I was painting on the actual picture, painting in some of the black. So now, I'm masking it out a little bit, just to cover a little bit of that edge um, that was a, a lighter brown. Okay, now, fiddling with the hairline again. So, I'm going around it again, painting on the mask with black. On the outside edge there, to get a little tighter edge. So the brush is a little um, little edgier right now.
See, because look at the edge of the hair. It's very sharp. It's not, um, it's not a soft edge. And when you, if you leave it soft, it's, it looks really kind of fake and bad. So little by little, I'm edging in there. You can also make it a selection, select the hair or the face, and, um, and cut it out that way. But this is the way I ended up doing this particular one this time. I do it different, um, just in the, you know, how I start and uh, what I feel is best for it. And so I felt a more painter approach on this. Um, just felt right for this particular uh, project. could use a quick selection tool, select the face, and um, fill that with white. Now I just up the opacity again so that I can see it full, full strength. So you see a little skin there, so I want to paint that in a little bit. Now I just switch the color, I just hit X, switch the color of the painting. Now I'm Make sure I had the fur um, selected when I go into the liquify. Now that's the freeze brush, so it's gonna freeze that area. I don't want that to morph. I'm gonna try and stretch that out a little bit to get rid of the edge of that ear on that side. So using the thaw brush and liquify. And now it makes those lines a little uneven, but um, for this project, that's fine. Could have made the face a little bit bigger and eliminated that, or use, just use a different picture. Okay, so now I'm burning with a mid tone, about 17%. Because most of the fur is in the mid tones. I'm gonna switch right now um, to the highlights or dark. Yeah, it looks like the highlights. To uh, burn those, burn darkens, dodge lightens. So I'm just trying to get some shadowing in there. So pretty soft edge brush there. Again, just working that little by little to get it tweaked, and so it blends in with the hair a little bit more. Hairlines can be a little tricky because um, they're not uh, very distinct. I zoom in, zoom out, just see how it looks, because things look very different zoomed out than they do zoomed in. I'm trying a couple different blend modes there, and it does look like the hard light is going to work. So what I just did is I put a hue saturation um, adjustment layer, and I clipped it, holding Option and clicking between the two um, layers. I clipped it to just the fur, so it's only affecting the fur. So I needed to desaturate. Um, that a little bit. Again, see playing up there. Painting. Bigger tool and soften that edge a little bit. And that's going to help blend in because as soon as you put the um, hard light blend mode on there, it's going to um, blend in with what's underneath the texture and that that's underneath. And so um, that'll help it you know, along the hairline there. Like that. See, I'm desaturating because that yellow got a little bit too, uh, too saturated when I put the hard light blend mode on. I change the color of the top. It's pretty much complementary, so by adjusting it in the greens and blue area there, it's gonna add yellows. Kind of the opposite, but just, you kind of eyeball it. See that? So now I wanna paint with black over the eyes again because those now those not they're not painted all the way through. The opacity of the brush wasn't all the way up when I painted it the first time. And so now going back over those the eyes there. Makes a really tiny brush to get that corner of the eye. Alright. sped up a few hundred percent otherwise it's um, actually an hour and a half long but this makes it about 15 minutes 
You can always stop it at any time, of course, and uh, pause, play, rewind. If you need to review or see something. I'm just in there tweaking the eyes, trying to get those edges just right so they match up and look natural. <laughs> as natural as this can look. So now just going on the lips a little bit. Made sure those little dots above the lips there with the fur, the whiskers in there, Make sure that was on. I noticed that the lips, her lips are a little bit uh, larger. And so I'm gonna go in there and trim that back a little bit. Go right along the edge there with the soft brush. That looks better. There's a little bit on the left side that I have to paint back in. And make sure you save your work. And that's about it. You can always tweak it a little bit more, but um, that's the whole deal right there. So have fun morphing your friends and neighbors. Bye.